just um, discovered I wanted to let you guys find out about because I just found out about it myself there is a return to forever live release called fragments of time and it is a 1974 uh, Worcester, Massachusetts um, broadcast from a concert. So, if you can find it somewhere, you might want to check it out. I have listened to it, and even though the picture here shows Al Di Miola on guitar, if you listen to it like I'm listening to it, that's Bill Connors. don't believe that's Al Di Miola at all. I could be wrong, but it sounds like uh, Connors to me. Listen to that. Yeah, the phrasing is like Connors. It is not like Al Di Miola. I think whoever put this album cover together uh, just grabbed what they had. Uh, so you might want to check this out, see if you can find it. Return to Forever's Fragments of Time. And of course you can listen to it on uh, YouTube as well. You can find Return to Forever Fragments of Time uh, on Apple Music and it is an early show and a late show put together some songs repeated some not and it runs over four hours long uh, now my opinion as far as the mixing of this thing and sound quality uh, Subpar. Uh, the balance is not good. Uh, sometimes you can hardly hear the guitar or the bass. And then other times the bass or the guitar is in your face. Um, Chick Corea's keyboards are pretty constant throughout and the drums are okay. It's the bass and guitar that um, have weird issues. I've already grabbed this release and I've been busy uh, remastering the mp3 files that I have. One thing I thought was very interesting on this release um, is this. Let me go ahead and uh, give you a listen. If you listen closely, that is an acoustic guitar. So, Bill Connors played on the acoustic guitar while he was with Return to Forever in live concert setting. I did not realize this. But it's not surprising to me because, of course, when Bill left Return to Forever after issues with uh, uh, Chick's demands on the band and on him and his uh, creative portions being somewhat stifled. And I also heard that Bill said, it was just so loud playing live. He just was not into that. Um, so it's not surprising to me that Bill went on to, uh, after leaving Return to Forever, he started an acoustic guitar phase. 
which um, on this return to forever fragments of time um, you will get to hear Bill on acoustic guitar while in return to forever which I think is quite unique uh, like I said the sound quality on um, this uh, recording this live recording um, is overall acceptable but if you're a purist audiophile kind of person it is not I have spent probably the last half hour 40 minutes going through every track redoing the EQ getting rid of hiss static uh, there was a dropout in the first song that I could could not fix um, also uh, parts that were really too quiet to hear I went in and uh, raised the volume on them to match the other parts and uh, there was a lot of chit chat between Crick, uh, Chick and the sound man which was totally ridiculous to have in a live recording that should have been edited out so I totally got rid of that stuff um, overall I'm uh, pretty pleased uh, with my final product for my private listening and uh, I'll be loading this on the phone today so I can listen to it while I'm driving and again here it is uh, it seems to be available on Apple Music. It's on Spotify as well, but the uh, play er arrow is grayed out, so you can't even uh, listen to it. It's a 2021 release on Free Fall Records. And... Um, as a historical statement, I think it's worth finding if you can. This is not on Amazon. It was not on Discogs. Um, I just lucked up on it um, tooling around YouTube. And you can listen to it on YouTube if you want. Um, any fans of Bill Connors, fans of Return to Forever, I recommend it. But like I say, good luck finding it. You will not find it in CD form. You're going to find it in M4As, MP3s. I found a site where you could get it as a flack. Um, but happy searching. Just Google it up and uh, see what you can find well that's about it for me uh, my mastering is over and I am glad to have this historical record from a live concert in Worcester Massachusetts 1974 so this is my heads up to you guys. I uh, hope you appreciate it. Have a great day.